After over two years' worth of work and care, a complete set of new paraments for the First Lutheran Sanctuary will be dedicated and first used in worship this coming Sunday, the Transfiguration of Our Lord. More information about this festival day and dedication can be found at flcsf.org now. What began as a conversation with the Worship and Music Board around the 100th anniversary of this congregation grew to include new paraments for each season of the church year, thanks to the work of a dedicated committee of First Lutheran members who volunteered their time to work with pastors and the talented staff of ecclesiastical sewing in designing a new set of paraments for worship. The story of this complete set will be explored in detail in upcoming issues of First Word. When we talk about years' worth of work alongside meticulous design and symbolism, Maybe the debut of these new paraments can start to sound like something from Paramount Pictures, complicated, impressive, and maybe difficult to understand without years' worth of work and study. Paraments, though, are simply a way to mark time as Christ's church, as God's people. From a Latin term meaning to adorn or prepare, the colors and symbols of paraments adorn the chancel each week and prepare us to hear God's word during a given day or season. This practice finds its roots in scripture. In the book of Exodus, we hear God instruct his people in this work, and so our congregation's continued care of the chancel and paraments is not taken lightly. Liturgical colors and symbolism are not the decision of unique committees, worship boards, altar guilds, or even pastors. This work is given by God to his people. And so we engage in this work as God's people for the people of God, that all might know the saving work of Christ. White and red pyramids mark festival seasons and festival days. Green pyramids the time after Epiphany and time after Pentecost, while purple and blue pyramids convey the penitential nature of Lent and Advent. Still using the same colors outlined in Exodus, paraments move us through the church year with Jesus Christ at the center of our worship, reminding us that though time marches on, our Lord is the same yesterday, today, and forever. From Advent through Christ the King, colors and symbols adorn the altar, lectern, and pulpit to point to Christ's promise, born, crucified, raised, and ascended now for you.